All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make another type of skull for uh, De Los Mortos. And it'll be kind of going off of these. These are just two examples that I have here. Um, what I did was I took a piece of plastic and a Sharpie and I put the plastic over, I think it was this one. And I just kind of traced out the basic outline of the main parts, the, the outline of the skull, the, um, the brow bone and cheekbones here, the eyes, nose, and the mouth, the teeth. Now when it comes to all these details, uh, we can keep them in mind. I kind of like, I kind of like the flower in the middle of this one here and the flower here at the chin. I should, might try. Uh, let me show you the finished product of a couple that I made. this one here let me kind of show you so I, I we're using coils and we're gonna work from outside down I think this is the second one I made so this one uh, even though I have these um, outlines in here this is just kind of a guideline to go by to give you the general shape and as you can see I made I used coils and balls and um, just different types of coils all the way around uh, and even though these aren't very definite right now uh, we can we're gonna define them better with uh, paint later on this is still leather hard so I'm gonna go back and kind of make some make, do some refining I'll do that afterwards uh, this is my second one that I just completed uh, this is one I completed with a time lapse and it put um, Put like an hour and a half into um, about 30 seconds so it's not very not very helpful so let me I don't need this plastic right now I could just put it on paper but I don't have one handy right now so I'm just gonna put it back on the plastic and put it on the board um, I kind of want to work with this more so I'm gonna keep this damp paper towel over it and wrap it back up. Here's my first example I did. And I took the plastic off of it. Let me, I need to support the whole thing better because this one's still leather hard too. This one here, I uh, kind of didn't use, I used a lot of these straight or these normal coils. Uh, this is the one that is both the, the brow bone and cheekbone. And I just filled in the coils with just kind of some straight coils, just one flower in the middle. I kind of use these, uh, started with some uh, circles for eyes, but then put some spirals in there and some more um, uh, coils for the rest of it. As you can see, let me find that one specifically. Um, my plan here was to just carve out these teeth here instead of making individual uh, little little teeth for each one. So that's kind of tedious. Either way will work. I did I did it on the other one. It was okay. And so these are just two examples. This is basically our finished product, and I'll just be going through the whole thing. Uh, you, you'll probably not want to watch it at regular speed all the way through. You might put it on double speed or skip around to some parts where. Uh, you might have some uh, want to know how it's made but even but basically it's just coils uh, let me put this one away I might get this just a little bit more damp just so I'll have more to work with let me get the other remember I just want to make the paper towel damp not soaking wet dry parts yes you'll you can just skip around uh, double speed if you don't want to watch the whole thing wrap this one up so it doesn't dry out 
All right, so of course I've got my clay and I've got my tools. I've got my sharper knife and uh, my needle. Got my standard fork spoon knife. Got my water. Uh, I might need some slip. I don't think I used much slip before, but I have some over here off to the side. And I like to do this here when it's really dry in the room. So I probably can't see this, but I have a piece of plastic and I'm gonna do this because I'm gonna put this damp paper towel on it. And um, when I'm not using stuff, I like to put, put them off to the side so they don't dry out. And I need the plastic so it doesn't damage the board, the wooden board, I have my clay. And I had already wedged it, we call it, to get the air bubbles out. Again, you can just take a little piece and smash it get air bubbles out as well so I also have uh, this bucket with uh, clean water and a sponge in it so that I can especially to, to wash off any tools or just wipe off my hands after they get kind of full of clay and it's, it's kind of getting all learning to just put the sponge I'm gonna keep it on top of the, the bucket Let me show you but uh, oops. I'm just gonna set it like this on the bucket so I don't have to keep wringing it out every time if I just need a little bit of it. And I have my, get my outline ready to go. Again, this is just a guideline. You, uh, it's good to put the general, these parts in it, but when it comes to really fine details, you can do that with paint later. So I'm going to, let's see, I'll kind of work over here. Maybe I'll put this up on a little bit higher, put it up here and I'll work right here. lighter or my tips just have to have a lighter touch and I wasn't very light there and you know what this uh, coil isn't perfectly uniform it's a little bit thicker in there but that's okay as long as it's like symmetrical and I'll get this guy and I do want it actually these outer ones to be pretty thick because I'm worried that there might be some air bubbles in here because um, it's gonna hold the whole thing together sort of off the ends in case there's air bubbles in there and just pinch these two so they're a little bit smoother and uh, because I wedged clay on here this is a little bit damp already so that's good but if your board is just completely dry you know wring out the sponge really well Up around here to so that the canvas won't just suck out any moisture that you have okay so I've got that outer coil done or just one of them up top again I, I had already wedged the clay so I don't need to slap it now because I got the air bubbles out that way This one I think I want to make more uniform. Probably a bit thinner. Probably won't need that much. And I can just put these pieces under here if I want to come back to them. of it.
है We'll make these for the eyes. So I'm getting some dry clay on my fingers. I'm gonna get the sponge fell into the bucket. Some more up there. Let me see, I might make a coil for the eyes. A spiral, rather. Oops, let me show you on the camera. Even them up. It's not perfectly symmetrical. Uh, not sure I like that very much. Let me get another one going. 